Okay, so I I think we finally got this figured out. No, I'm gonna make a mark right here so that I know that the axle is gonna go back the same way it came out, just in case. I had quite a trial getting this thing apart. Um, mounted to each one of these studs is a little cone washer. I can see that. And it, you know, it slips on, but it's a very snug fit. Even though there are no threads inside of these, you almost, you about have to thread them on so that they'll go. And they are what was preventing the axle from coming out. I'd seen videos on this very same rear end where the fellow simply tapped on the back of the axle and it came out. Then he just pushed it in with his finger and all the cone washers were just standing out. And, that you know, they were just standing out nicely. He'd just grab them and pull them off. And I don't know what the deal was with this one, just old or something, where all the cone washers but two were stuck in there really badly. And so... It took a lot of pounding with a four pound maul uh, here and here and and then uh, you know taking one of the uh, uh, nuts screwing it on here and then pounding on these to get things loosened up and even then they didn't want to come off several of them they were just too far embedded in there and flush so I couldn't grab them but uh, finally enough pounding enough cajoling enough swearing and uh it came off so now i think i should be able to just pull since there are no internal clips for this i think i should be able to just pull on this axle and see if i can get it off let's see if we can do that <sighs> let's see if we can do it and there it is very nice and since I have boogered them up, <laughs> I'm going to have to replace these flanges. And they have a little seal in here anyway, so uh, be an appropriate thing to do anyway. So, let's get this axle out of here. The spline looks to be in really good shape. Stand that up right here. Now, inside of here is a three inch nut, a set of bearings, and I think another, like a thrust washer or something like that. They all need to come out and uh, checked to make sure they're okay. And then, finally, finally, this brake drum can come off. And uh, then we can see what kind of shape the uh, wheel cylinders are in. The brake cylinders so we'll do that okay so i got one of these spindle nuts uh, in order to fit over this nut in here and i found out it's already loose i could just loosen it like that with my hand i'm gonna need it to tighten it back so uh so anyway nut comes off spindle nut or bearing retainer nut, or whatever you want to call it. Okay. There. Next. Come on, wiggle off. Does it just sit in there? Yeah, it just slides. But I think there's a little suction from the oil and grease holding it. The grease in here is really broken down. It's like there's no grease left. It's turned to oil. Or something. Oh, don't push it back Well, in how there. do you get the brake drum off? I get all these things off, and then it comes off. Oh my gosh, there's a bunch of parts, huh? Mm -hmm. A few. Ah, oh, I got it pushed back in there. There. All right. Thrust washer. I'll clean this up and inspect it. I'm sure it's fine, but I'll clean it up and inspect it, make sure it's not really worn out. And then looks like another nut that I can just spin off with my hand, it looks like. You're getting this cord, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Good. 
good because I'll need to look, consult the video to remember how to get back together. <laughs> bearings are awfully clean. What does that mean? It means there's no grease on them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Cleanest set of bearings I think I've ever pulled out of anything. We'll clean this up, check the play in it. <coughs> Look at that. I mean, I don't, know, I don't know if there should be that much movement. Well, how does that big plate come off? plate. What plate? This plate thing. This? Yeah. It's part of this. It's connected. Oh. It's not coming off. All right. Hopefully I don't need to adjust the brakes down and I can just pull this off. So. Be careful because I joined a Ford forum and these brake drums are irreplaceable. They said don't be, they, they said be careful and do not damage your brake drum. All right. Well, I'm going to have to get back there and adjust the brakes to loosen them so that this will come off more easily because it wants to come off, but once it gets caught up on the shoe, it will come. Let's take the little slide off. So this thing is heavy, I'm sure. Very heavy. Good thing I got sand here. Fall. Oh, it's all scratchily. Yeah, the brakes. Oh. oh, oh, oh. Are you okay? I'm fine. Oh my gosh, there's spider webs in the brakes. Oh. All right. That wheel cylinder is leaking, and it looks like that one is too. So these are the two we've got to replace, and then I'm thinking if it's reasonable enough cost to do so, I should probably do the other side as well. There's a lot, big, thick lining of grease right here. That had cracks in it, and I said, is that part of the inner... Well, I hope uh, that you can still see your mark on your... There's another set of bearings in there, too. Let's see. This is some kind of dust seal. Um, so, yeah, we'll look at it all while we got it off. What the heck? No telling how many times these brakes have been done. You could hone it just to rough it up a little bit and then replace the shoes. Such a chore to do. Probably best to get it all done while you got it apart. And, uh, now what do you do? Now what do I do? I take these off, get the numbers off of them, and go find replacements for them. How do they come off? Uh, let me see. This probably lifts up or something like that. There's a couple bolts on the back, and it just unbolts, comes out. Uh, probably need some kind of large screwdriver or something to spring these springs loose so make it easier and then we'll just check it all out yeah I mean, pretty close to the um uh, not on the rivet yet but pretty close and over the years as we go using this thing mm, let's not take a chance let's just get them done because it's such a hassle to get this thing apart well who would do it Oh, well, I can, if I need to, I can send these off to have them relined. I don't know if you can buy replacement shoes. You'd probably have to take the shoes, send them to a brake shop or a, a what they call a friction shop or something like that, and have them put new brake pad material on them, brake shoe material, this stuff. They'll pull off the old rivets, pull this off, and put new on there, clean them up, paint them, send them back. These we should be able to get through the auto parts store. If these springs are springs are probably tight and just fine, so we don't need to worry about those. And you know who knows? We made this um, not much grease left in these things, so we might need you know a new set of bearings. I don't know. We'll just check them and see. You just pick all the dirt off of it. Yeah, just clean it up. That's what brake parts cleaners for. Shh. Oh. <laughs> Little robber.